Hello everyone. So Notepad is no longer your text editor of choice because of all the new AI features and the new markdown support. Well, let's switch it up to the Microsoft Edit. It is super easy and you can use it with the keyboard and mouse. So for decades, Notepad has been the default choice for opening text files. It was a lightweight, fast, and intentionally limited, making it ideal for power users who needed to view and modify plain text without distractions. However, the modern version of Notepad has moved far beyond that original purpose. Today, Notepad includes features such as emoji support, markdown style formatting, tabs, autosave, and multiple AI power tools using Copilot, which also requires to use a Microsoft account. Yes, you can disable these features, but the app no longer feels like a minimal utility. For many users, especially those who value sim simplicity and privacy, this evolution raised concerns about telemetry, background services, and the overall direction of the app. If your goal is to use a truly basic text editor that does exactly one job and nothing more, Microsoft Edit is a compelling alternative. Microsoft Edit is a command line text editor that Microsoft has quietly brought back for Windows 11. Although it runs in the Windows terminal, it is not limited to keyboard-only workflows. You can use both the keyboard and mouse, navigate menus, select text, and perform common editing tasks with ease. And more importantly, Microsoft Edit does not include AI features, cloud integration, or account requirements. It is fast, lightweight, and focused solely on plain text editing. Sure, you can open the Windows terminal and launch the edit tool, but if you want a tool more like Notepad, you will want to perform some animational actions. For example, you want to create a dedicated profile for the Microsoft Edit tool with custom color scheme to make the experience more familiar to the Notepad interface, and you want to provide direct access to that tool from the graphical interface. So first, let's start creating a dedicated profile for Microsoft Edit. First, we're going to open the Windows Terminal as an administrator. Then I'm going to open the Terminal Settings. Now click on Add New Profile. In here, I'm just going to duplicate a current profile, in this case, the one for Command Prompt, and then click the Duplicate button. Now, since we're duplicating the profile, all the previous setting for that profile is going to carry over the new profile. So in here, we're going to choose a name for that profile and we're going to name it Microsoft Edit. And then we're going to click on Command Line and then we're going to type edit.exe. I'm going to click the Save button and then I'm going to go to Appearance. Now, to make the experience a little bit more like notepad, especially if you're using a light theme, I'm going to choose the Tango Light theme and click the Save button. Now, once we created the profile, we're going to see it right here on the menu and we can click it and as you can see, we get an experience similar to notepad, but it is a simpler interface, but that's what we want. Now, one aspect of the Microsoft Edit tool is that we can actually launch it from the Start menu. So if we go to Start menu and we type Edit, we're going to see it right here. So we can just click on it and that will launch the experience with the profile that we created. So from here, you can create a new file, you can open existing files, You have your common task, which you can use with shortcuts for undo, redo, cut, paste, and you can also do find and replace. We also have the word wrap option right here. And that's pretty much it. It is a super simple text editor. Now, if you want faster access to the application, specifically from the taskbar, what we can do is just to look for edit one more time and then we can open the file location and then we can just simply drag the executable to the taskbar. The only thing about pinning the app to the taskbar, at least this specific app, is that when you click on it, it will create another instance of the Windows Terminal on the side. But other than that, this way you will have faster access to Microsoft Edit. You can also pin it to the Start menu. As you can see right here. Now, if you want to make the change to the Microsoft Edit more permanent, one thing you can do is just to make it the default for text files. And to do that, we need to go to Settings. And from here, we're going to go to Apps, Default Apps. Then we're going to search for 
.txt, we're going to select that option. And then from here, we're going to click on the default application that is set for text files. And I have it right here because I already tried these steps before recording this video, but you won't see that in here. So you want to click right here and choose an app on your PC. And then you want to go to Windows System 32. And from here, we're just going to look for the edit.exe file, select it, and then click on open. And that will select Microsoft Edit as a new default. And then just click on the set default button. Now, when you go to File Explorer, when you double click a text file, that will open in the Microsoft Edit application instead of Notepad. Now, in the case that you want to make Microsoft Edit the default for all text files, then you want to look for Notepad and then make sure to set Microsoft Edit, the default application for all the file extensions that you want. For example, if I want it for log files, I just click right here. And in this case, Microsoft Edit will already be in the list because we already selected it and then just set it as a default. And repeat the step for all the text files that you want to use Microsoft Edit. Now, this is optional, but if you no longer want to use Notepad, you can always uninstall it from the computer by going to System, optional features, then go to view features. And from here, look for notepad, select it, and then click the remove button. And that's it. At any time, if you want to add the feature, look for it, select it again, and add it to the system. And that's it. That is how you switch from Notepad to Microsoft Edit. If you want to avoid all the new AI features and the new Markdown support, and if you don't like the direction of the application. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about using Microsoft Edit as your default text editor. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.